All praises due to Yahweh, Bahashim Yoshai, Bahashim Rokal Kabash. Double honors to the apostle elders of Great Millstone that rule well, and peace and citation to all the Akim doing and pushing this word, and all honesty, truth, and sincerity, and a sincere shalom to the elect. Now, this uh, quick video I'm going to make real quick why you should fear the Lord, man. Okay? Let's go to Sirach chapter 28 and verse uh, 1. He that revenges shall find vengeance from the Lord. And you will surely... Hold on a second. All right, Memorial Day. So wait a minute. 9-11, they bombed. Which, which Memorial Day? Memorial Day. 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 Showing you, hey, don't don't take that action into your own hand. Leave it on to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Okay? As a matter of fact, hold on a second. Okay, good. You know, leave it on to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Scriptures clearly tell you that they know they he see it all actions, man. All flesh is before him. Okay. Um Yeah, right here. Sirach chapter 39, verse 19. The works of all flesh are before him. And nothing can be hid before his eyes. Right? That's why he knows, you know, all your sins, all your actions, all those things that you've committed in the past life, this life. You know what I mean? The Lord knows that. As a matter of fact, right here. Um, Second Ezra chapter 16 and uh, 62. Yea, the spirit. Yea, and the spirit of almighty God, which made all things and searched out all hidden things in the secrets of the earth surely he knoweth your inventions and what ye think in your hearts even them that sin and would hide their sin see you think you can hide it that's why i always say you think you're fooling us but really you're fooling yourself man okay therefore have the lord exactly searched out all your works and he will put and he will put all you to shame and when your sins are brought forth, ye shall be ashamed before men, and your own sins shall be your shall be your accusers in that day. Okay. What we do or how we hide your sins before God and his angels, because the angels are always their own. That's why the Lord said that his eyes upon a sinful kingdom. Okay. He has his angels all around watching. Okay. Twenty four seven. Okay, they're on their job. But, you know, all these guys who think, yeah, let me take violence into my own hand. Let me take these actions into my own hand. Yeah, how about Shimmy Al Shai is going to remember that? Okay, look at this. This is crazy, yo. It's fucking crazy, bro. Look at this shit. Look at this shit, yo. Wow. But also, let's also remember one thing, too. Let's go to Job. 4 and 7. Remember, I pray thee, whoever perish, being innocent, or where were the righteous cut off. Right? You come back, we already tell you this, you, you come back on to third and fourth generation, and the Lord knoweth all your sins, knoweth all your actions. So he could bring them forth in this lifetime and say, you know what? I'm going to bring a whole plethora of mess on this guy. I'm going to make him blind in one eye when he comes out. A, a, a cleft palate, you know? I'm going to give him all types of, uh, you know, uh, diseases in his life, you know. I'm going to make his woman, uh, uh, you know, be, be the love of his life. She ain't going to cheat. She ain't going to do nothing. She always going to be there for him. And guess what? I'm going to kill him. Right. I'm going to kill him. I'm going to kill his kids and his woman right in front of him. You know? And the monster who does it, guess what? I'm going to make him like, get free because he was, he was drunk. The Lord can do that type of stuff in your life, man. He can mess you up. That's why we always tell you, fear you how about Shimei Okay? Let's go into another scripture I had lined up. Matthew chapter 20, 28. And fear not them which kill the body, but, but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. Right? So you, you, you should put your fear into Yahweh Hashem Yahushai because he has the power to do that. So as you fear not them which are able to kill the body, that's another individual just like you. They're able to kill the body, but they're not able to out, oust that soul. Okay, They're not able to out that fire. Okay, 
As a matter of fact, let me go back into another one here. Let's see this one more time. It's crazy, yo. That's why we always tell you, fear your elbow, shimmy on shy. If I'm not mistaken, I don't know if they were fighting, if that was a real fight, if they were just geeking, playing around. And that shit happened right on a, a camera, like police or something, I don't know. Another angle of them, uh, three people on 70 hitting. I guess that's what it said. Let me get out of here real quick. Let me get into this, this one here. For zeroing in this on the you see in this surveillance video. They were underground inside the East 149th Street and it's crazy. Ronald Ronald Leslie show somebody was at the on the uh, northbound platform of the six train when show he was somebody pushed. On the, on the, the NYPD on the tracks, yeah. calling the suspect a total stranger I don't really to the show victim the whole and thing, police saying you know, it was total here, strangers, they... eyewitnesses. Also and you can waiting see him, yo. He's like dipping behind people. From being hit by a fast approaching train. They helped him climb back onto the platform. The victim is expected to be okay. Hey, scriptures tell you too that what? Right here, actually. Oops, it's locked in. Uh, what the hell, man? Let's go to uh, Matthew chapter 24. Um, Matthew chapter 24 and verse 12. And because iniquity shall abound, and iniquity is sin is upon sin upon sin upon sin. Just stack that sin, right? And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Remember also, too, it says in the scripture that her sins reached onto heaven and the Lord have remembered them. So imagine you're stacking all this, this, this sin, this sin, this sin, this pile of shit, pile of shit, pile of shit. And it's reached onto the heavens, man. The Lord's like, hey, enough of this. Cut this show short, man. <laughs> you know, that's what's about to happen. The Lord's about to send back his son to do that good work. Now, closing scripture, Hebrew 10. Let me do this real quick. Hebrews chapter 10. And verse 30, for we know him that have said, vengeance belongeth unto me. Remember, the vengeance belongeth unto the most high, man. Also, let me get into the scripture real quick. Oops. And a brother uh, holding firm, Brother Koshar, taught me this one time. God made mention about something. And he just put up the scripture and it hit me right away. You know, Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 26, be angry and sin not. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath. The water you held by Shimei was shy for that brother for teaching me that, man. For putting that, uh, you know, uh, uh, mouthpiece, your prophet, you know, saying that at that time. Because it, there was something, I can't remember, I made a video about something. And I guess the brother had seen it and he put up, uh, put it up in the comment board, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. And when I seen that scripture, I was like, damn. That right there, that taught me, you know, you know, was, look, let me read it again. Be angry and sin not. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath. That was very short. And within that very short sentence, it brought out a lot. Okay. And it showed me, hey, you better hold your, you better hold your anger. You better hold your temper, man. Leave that. Leave, leave. Yeah, in fact, take your anger and chuck it with the Lord. <laughs> Did he say, cast your burdens upon him, right? For he cares for us. So when you're pissed mad, which uh, was that Ecclesiastes chapter seven and seven tell you that, you know, surely oppression make it the wise man mad. Of course, we're pissed off in this place. You know, turn around every minute. We're seeing some foolery, you know. But anyways. Yeah, be angry. Yeah, be angry. We're not we're not happy in this place and sin not. Yeah, don't go do no shit, you know, chopping people up, shooting at people and extending the arm to do violence because guess what the lord is going to remember that okay and let not the sun go down upon your wrath yeah put it put it rest put it to rest man let it be put to rest let you how about shimmy how should i deal with it you know and that's a that's a yapa scripture man for all you young men who are coming into the truth you know take that in you know take that into account hebrews chapter 10 30 for we know him that has said vengeance belongeth unto me and I will recompense, saith the Lord. And again, the Lord shall judge his people, First Peter, right? 4 and 17, if I'm not mistaken. It is a fearful thing to fall, verse 31, it is a fearful thing to fall into the hand of the living power, the living God, okay? So you don't want to be, uh, you know, out there tussling and rustling as if, you know, 
he's some uh, tough guy because the Lord could bring you down in a second. Look at Nebuchadnezzar. Okay. Now let me get this last scripture, what the Lord said to do. Uh, Zephaniah chapter 3 and verse 8. Therefore, wait ye upon me, saith the Lord, until the day that I rise up. Let, let me say this again. Therefore, wait ye upon me, saith Yahweh, until the day that I rise up to the prayer. For my determination is to gather the nations that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them my indignation, which is righteous anger. Even all my fierce anger, for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. And remember, the Lord said that he's not going to do away with the earth, you know. It's just that a lot of people think that the earth is going to be destroyed. It's not going to be destroyed. It's going to be so bad out there. The, the elements shall melt with fervent heat. What do you think that is? And that's all, oh man. That's all coming down the, the, the pipe, man. Ecclesiastes. <laughs> One brother had to show. <laughs> brother, you know who you are. But anyways, Ecclesiastes. It's an inside joke with that. Ecclesiastes chapter 1 and verse 4. One generation path is away, and another generation cometh. But the earth abideth forever. Okay, so this place is not going to be destroyed as some people think. Oh, the earth is going to be cracked in half and space and da -da -da. no it's not gonna be that but going back to the topic at hand the fierce anger of the lord is gonna be so terrible out here there's a scripture where one of the prophets has said were, were you mad at the, the the sea were you mad at the trees were you mad at the earth you know the earth is gonna rock to and fro okay it's gonna shake but guess what the lord won't destroy this place because what one generation passes away and another generation cometh but the earth abided forever, okay? So anyways, going back into this. So, um, like I said, you, you want to wait ye upon the Lord. You want to wait till the Lord gets down and does his thing. And right now, what we want to be doing is found in that uh, right light, okay? You don't want to be going off. You don't want to be uh, doing things which displease the Lord, okay? Because it, it tells you in these scriptures here. Uh, what, what's here? Yep, right here. 1 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 5. But with many of them, God was not well pleased. For they were overthrown in the wilderness. Now this is going back into uh, Moses and them escaping. The Exodus, right? Um, But this can be accounted for this time here as well. Okay, the Lord is not... Uh, the Lord is not pleased with a lot of you Israelites, man. You two, you know, you two thirds. Okay, the Lord is not pleased with you because your actions, your ways, is not right. Okay. As a matter of fact, the Lord said that my way is equal and your way is not equal. But then you look upon the Lord and say the way of the Lord is not equal. But the Lord look upon you and say you're not equal, man. So hey, this this was a short video. You know, you should fear your how about shimmy all shy, man. Niggas pushing niggas on tracks. Niggas running over niggas in the street. The Lord is putting the kibosh in this place, you know. And with that, all praises, all honor, all glory be unto Yahweh. Bah Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Bah Hashem, Rukhakodash. Double honors to the apostle elders of Green Millstone that rule well and are worthy of the double honors. And salutation, peace and salutation unto the elect. And peace and salutation. Onto all the brothers doing and pushing this word in all honesty, truth, and sincerity worldwide. Shalom, Akim, Matthew chapter 24 and 13 to you all. I hope you're edified. Wa Abad Babal.